It's okay, baby. You're okay. It's okay. Hey, everyone. This is Amy with Mommy Angel. I'm sorry. I'm in the back of the car with her while Carol is driving. It's extremely bumpy here. We're trying to get to the 24-hour emergency hospital as quickly as we can. Um, she has been nonstop panting. She is in the corner nesting. She now has blood coming out of her vaginal area. Um, this dog is absolutely, there's something going on and we're not, it's done, that's it. I'm not gonna watch this dog be in any further distress. Um, I told, I called the animal hospital at Coral Springs, told them we are on our way. I spoke to them earlier today, prior to this, um, and uh, they said to monitor her. Her temperature is at 101. So she's not going down. She keeps going and licking um, her back area. Like I said, her, pain, her eyes look so painful. She's definitely painful. And they're probably going to be rushing her in for an emergency C-section right away. Because she can no longer take this pain and discomfort. And I will not sit by and watch this dog suffer. Uh, Carol is driving. We are getting off of Atlantic now. Um, and we should be there in what, babe? Like about 10, 15 minutes? 15 minutes at the Coral Spring Animal Hospital. I'm asking, please, um, we were told that if we bring her in as an emergency case, that this, this procedure could cost us $5,000. So with that being said, we need your assistance, your help, your donations. Please, I'm begging all of you to help us help Angel. Um, we're doing everything in our power for her. Everything. It's okay, Mama. You're okay. It's okay. Yeah, she's got, she has blood coming out of her vagina. Um, this is not the... Oh, what's the matter, Mommy? She can't get comfortable. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right, mommy. She's licking. She's licking the bed where she's bleeding. This dog is going into labor. I don't know how the fuck they miss this. I really don't. I don't. And she has no milk in her nipples for her nine puppies. I'm asking everybody, please donate for her. We need to have this covered when we walk in this door. We need to recover this. We need to get her everything she needs to, to, to give her the best medical care that she's going to receive with us. It's okay, Mommy. It's okay. It's okay. There's absolutely zero milk in her nipples. So we are going to have to pull together. Um, I, I'm just beyond, I, I've been on the phone all morning. I've been calling every veterinarian, every surgeon that I can think of because something was just not sitting right with me last night when we, we left there and, and watching and witnessing the way she's acting. We've had so many pregnant dogs that we've delivered puppies and it, I've never experienced or witnessed anything like this. Um, and they're telling me she's not due for another 9 to 13 days. Can you imagine watching this dog for another 9 days or even a minute like this? So, um, I don't know if something's going on since last night, since the ultrasound, the x-rays, and everything else that was done. What? Oh, I got you. I got you, Mommy. I got you. So, we're on our way. We will update as soon as we can. It's 1040 right now. We're rushing and rushing together as quickly and safely as we possibly can. Mommy, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I promise. Nothing's going to happen. We've got to get um, our bottle feeders ready because when these puppies come out, there's no milk. So Christine, Faith, Jesse. I tried calling Jesse no luck this morning. Um, Christine, Faith, if you're watching this, please, I, I need you to come to the Coral Springs Animal Hospital or call me when I shut down so that we have everything in place to get these, hopefully, God willing, the puppies will be developed enough and they'll be healthy when they do a C-section. Um, and like I said, there's nine puppies. Christine, can you meet me at Coral Springs Animal Hospital? I can call you when I know a better time frame of when they're going to do 
uh, the surgery. I called on our way there and said, we are on our way. We'll be there in 20, 30 minutes. Please have the surgeon ready to go in and just get this done already because she can't, she can't go on like this. She just can't. So we'll update you just as soon as we can. What I need from all of you that are watching this video right now, please donate something towards her care. Um, when we walk in that door, the first thing they do is, here's your bill, I need your credit card. And they told us that it's going to be approximately $5,000 for this procedure. So please donate what you can and thank you so much, so much for your love and your support. This girl is killing me and ripping my heart out of my chest. She's destroying me. I can't stand to see an animal in pain and feel so helpless. So this is why we are doing everything we possibly can. And let me tell you something, if we did not take this baby girl into our rescue just a week ago, God only knows, I can't even imagine what she would be going through on a pile of dirt outside and, and sitting like this because they never took her to the vet prior. They never told us she had a fractured pelvic, which she was probably, I was thinking about this while I was in bed last night, um, she probably was hit by a car and her, she's just a baby the sweetest dog you'd ever meet in your life, ever, ever. She doesn't deserve this. Me, all familiar faces, won't I